Prometheus is a collaborative painting project which brings together members of the creative community in South Tyneside as well as students from Newcastle University Fine Art. Prometheus follows on from the project that we started last year where we were inspired by the myth of Glaucus and Scylla to create large-scale collaborative paintings. This time in Prometheus we're inspired by the myth of Prometheus, the titan who stole fire from the gods. In turn we're bringing in elements of how we explore creation, but also new technologies such as artificial intelligence within the creative field to see how does that impact us as creators. From the point of view of the Customs House Gallery, it's fantastic for us to be able to bring in these kind of exhibitions here to make art and culture accessible to everyone from South Tyneside and beyond. The concept of ownership seems at the again at the center of this project. So artistic practice is often seen as kind of isolated, as linked to a personality, you have personal style and personal brush marks. So what happens when you suddenly mix this up you know, and bring, um, have three or four people working on the same painting, where suddenly it's just not clear anymore who did this brush mark and who, who painted this? And how do you deal with the fact that suddenly people will eradicate or paint over your, your, your painting. And I think for me, the lesson from this project was really that first, the, the isolate practice is, is not necessarily viable. No? It's, I think we all work in conjunction. We all, I think artistic practice is often based on conversations, negotiations, and so on. I found it enjoyable because when you were working in a studio, um, you're in this quiet space, you're with other artists and you're pretty much on your own. But here in this space you have people coming in to watch a film in a cinema, you have people kind of walking through the corridor and then reacting to us working and you don't really have that kind of pure response um, to artworks when we're in this industry. we are trained to look at artworks in certain ways. We know how to talk about it, we know how to respond to it, whereas people who are not really in touch with the art world, they don't know how to respond, they don't know how to react, how to um, talk about it, but um, they have this pure response to it. And I find that response interesting and refreshing for myself. Because I believe artwork is not just for artists or people who are interested in the art. I believe it should be for everybody. I just love and trying out different things that I never got the chance to. I did little bits at school, but for a very limited time. Um, so whatever opportunities come my way in art, I just take and. I certainly haven't got the space to do things like this at, at home or anything, but uh, yeah. And I'll, I'll definitely be reading into abstract art. I, I love the pieces that Christine had put together in that leaflet. One of the things about this way of collaboration is that there's 100% going to be conflict because there are no rules. So if you have trust in other people, um, that, you know, oh, if they're covering something up for the painting that you're okay with that and that their vision is going somewhere that maybe you can't see now but you trust where it's going, then it can be a really, like, overall positive experience. Um, like, I guess, like, emotionally. But I think if you take out the, um, that side of it, I think the art that comes out of it, even with all of the conflicts and potentially negative emotions, is just really exciting. There was a time near the beginning where I struggled particularly badly in seeing the, the way it was going forward and struggled to get my head around it. And I went away and when I came back, I felt like I should trust the process more. Maybe not question it as much. Um, but also, uh, when I came back, there was some figurative elements had been added to some of the um, some of the paintings, which helped a lot. So I could see something in there that I could latch onto, um, that I could hang my 
had my hook on, you know, like uh, it was still it's still a challenge. But that that was okay. It was uh, it's good to be challenged. For me, it was like more about the aspect of using wording, and I I tried to put that into the paintings by using Prometheus and writing it in Greek and trying to put it in different forms so that could be presented in, in, a, in an abstract way. At the beginning it was kind of daunting because you meet everybody for the first time and you're not sure what kind of art background everybody's coming from. After getting to know everybody it seemed to be very cohesive and everybody kind of got along and there were parts of the paintings that were painted over but nevertheless we, we still continued and it was pretty successful. With the mark specifically I think it was for some paintings it was different so I think for a couple intuitive and others it was responsive. At the whole time, at the whole time uh, I was always doing something different to what I'd normally do as well. So the way we painted here isn't something I'd normally paint in my own practice. Um, but yeah, I think it's been a mixed bag. I feel like I'm stronger in marks in some paintings than I am in others, but I also feel like that's necessary for it, for it to work. Um, I think bold like, marks on some paintings for me are much more important, and being more subtle in others is also more important in that sense. Yeah, I think the, the painting process, it, it, seemed, it works almost be, because even though everyone had their own separate kind of ways of making, on the grand scale of the, like the canvas, it's like you're only one section of what you do and there's almost like the layering of all these things is what makes the, the paintings, like what makes them what they are. Um, I think it makes them more exciting than if they were just done by one person. I think I've gained um, a lot of confidence in painting from this project and, um, and I feel like a lot more confidence from people as well being kind of thrown into this like this group of people that, where we don't really know each other and um, it's just been so nice um, and I've, I feel like I've gained some of the social skills that I lost in Covid. <laughs> Custom House invite the public, uh, the community to participate in the project. I think it's a good thing. So the community can bring their idea and can uh, collaborate with this kind of project because I don't think uh, everyone can do a project like that because sometimes it's like close, with close people. But here you have, you give opportunity to other, the community to participate in this project and I, Thanks for thanks Custom House and Newcastle University for this uh, project. <laughs>